It's wonderful to be with you on this Monday, and I trust you had a glorious Easter. It's my favorite time of the year as we think of what Christ did for us on the cross and his resurrection. We had a tremendous time here with the presentation of Nicodemus, and uh, we were thrilled with the number of people and the number that were saved. And if you were un unable to see it, I'd encourage you to go on our YouTube site and uh, and look at it. And it's about an hour and a half uh, pr uh, presentation. And I know you'd be deeply stirred by the truth of what Christ did for us. Today, I'd like to look at 1 Corinthians chapter 3. In the middle of this chapter, we have a very striking passage about the use of our life and the fact that we will have it evaluated when we get to heaven. Now, we're not going to be judged for our sin. Christ took that judgment. But it's going to be evident whether or not we allowed God to work through us or whether our lives were lived for ourselves or for the wrong motives. And we find that in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, that everything will be made manifest. And here in chapter 3, talks about building on the foundation uh, gold, silver, and precious stones, or wood, hay, and stubble. And we read in verse 13, every man's work shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it, because it uh, shall be revealed by fire. The fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. This is, to me, a challenge to stay encouraged. Of course, that's why we have these little times these each day, and that is to try to encourage you. You say, well, that's a bit of a sobering matter. Well, the thing I want to encourage you with is in the midst of everything going on, what you do does matter. You are either doing things that are going to be burned up, or you have the privilege, if you allow God to work in your life, to do things which will last for eternity and will not be burned up, and your work will matter to the very th at the very throne of God. And that's really a blessing. People may not know who you are. The situation around you may be very difficult. But you're allowing God to work. You're reaching people with the truth. You're endeavoring to encourage people in the name of Christ. You're living in a way that God's growing you. Well, all of those things are going to be evident, the scripture says here, uh, at the judgment seat of Christ. And uh, as verse 14 says, If any man's work abide which he hath built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire. So there is a wonderful set of consequences for those who really sincerely serve the Lord. They don't get caught up with the spirit of this age. They don't get intimidated and pull back. But the Christian that stays steady and walks with God, there will be glorious consequences when we get to heaven. We don't fully even understand it all, but the one thing that we do know is that we'll be able to glorify God because there will be things in heaven that are there because we truly let him work. It is sobering to think much could be burned up and not matter. And so it is a challenge for us. But I just want you to see this as an encouragement. Serve the Lord today in the midst of everything. It's going to matter a million years from now. May God give us an eternal look on our lives.